Hell House LLC Origins, The Carmichael Manor. Hey you guys, so I watched the horror movie Hell House LLC Origins, and let me start off by saying I did not know this movie even existed. And that kind of shocked me. I believe I watched the first Hell House movie, so it's crazy how I missed the release of this one in 2023. But anyway, this movie was definitely a winner. If you don't know about this franchise, they do found footage point of view. So if you are a fan of found footage, you will like this. I'm 99.9% .9 sure you will. Unlike the other found footage films, this one used very high quality cameras. That's not to say that the others don't, but they try to make it seem authentic, I guess, by using a lower quality camera, but this one did not. And I actually liked that, it looked very good. So here's a brief little summary of the movie. The protagonist, Margot, and her partner, Rebecca, visit the Carmichael Manor in Rockland County, New York. Margot also invites her brother. So as you can probably guess, it takes like a day before things start to pick up, but when they do, it gets, well, I'll let Palpatine say it. Cool. There are shadows appearing in the rooms, clown noses popping up out of nowhere, mysterious noises, full body apparitions, the whole nine yards, right? So naturally seeing and experiencing all this weird stuff makes Margot's brother, Chase, and Rebecca want to leave. However, they decide to leave the next day, but they end up having to stay even longer because get this, Chase goes missing. I mean, of course he does, right? They try to find him and even wait for him, but eventually they decide to leave. But there's something wrong with their car and they have to leave by foot. After a couple of scary encounters in the woods, Margot and Rebecca find themselves back at the manor. I'm pretty sure at this point you guys know where this is headed, so I'm just gonna end my synopsis right there. I really like this movie. Never really a dull moment, very similar to the first Hell House, but this one was longer. It gives you more time to enjoy the film in my opinion. I like the characters and there was just enough of everything, just enough backstory to understand Chase's condition. Just enough dialogue between Rebecca and Margot to understand their financial situation, and just enough mystery to keep the viewer always wanting to know more. Okay, I'm gonna sort of spoil a part for you, but not really. I knew there was somebody in this from the get go. It always looked suspicious to me, and I would not have been able to sleep soundly at night knowing this crazy looking thing was posted up in the house with me. But maybe that's just me. Another thing I liked about this film was it didn't feel forced. I mean, sure, some of the situations they put themselves in, I would not have put myself in, but it wasn't anything too out of the realm of possibility. For example, I expected at least one person to lose their cool and start panicking. Rebecca, I'm looking at you. And I also expect the entities or whatever to pick them off one at a time. I mean, that's just strategy 101. This film gets a big thumbs up for me and I'm putting this on my recommended list. If I had known about this film earlier this year when I made my top 10 favorite horror movies of 2023 list video, this would have made it no doubt. Shout out to the director Stephen Cognetti if you guys want to watch Hell House Origins, The Carmichael Manor, it's a Shudder movie, so I think you can watch it if you have AMC Plus or Amazon with the Shudder add-on. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video, but I wanted to take some time to thank you all personally. This is my 100th video on YouTube and I reached 70 subs earlier today. I know it might not be a big deal to other people, but it's a big deal to me. If you have been with me on this journey for a while, you probably know by now that I try to post something every day. Some days I just feel like putting it off or just giving up entirely, but that end goal is so enticing I keep going and I really wouldn't be able to do it if I didn't have you guys. I'm trying my best not to sound corny, but we are in this together and I really do appreciate you. Thank you so, so much. All right, you guys, have an amazing night. And as always, I can't wait to talk to you next time. Bye.